Klaus, we're going to put in some broad beans now. Um, the ones I have here are Bunyard's Exhibition. They seem to work well for me. You just have to be careful that you sow the right variety according to the right season. So if you sow them in autumn, in October, you need a, an overwintering variety such as um, Aqua Dulce Claudia. Okay. Or if you sow them in spring, a variety like your Bunyard's ex Exhibition. So just indicate where we plant them and then we space them out about 10, 12 centimetres. Just pick out the best, it always works. Sometimes it can be quite poor, see that's cracked here. Yep. So that wouldn't, mightn't germinate, that might have dried out inside. So we laid them out first. At what time of year are we putting these in? As early as you can get the ground ready, they're so hardy. If you can in February or in March. Another very accurate measure, finger, right. uh, thumb step. Yeah, that'll do. About five centimetres yeah. deep. Okay. Just push them in like that. Nothing else to do. So Klaus, what, what sort of height are the beans going to grow to? Well, they can grow very tall, like 1.2 mm. metres, four okay. feet tall. Many people stake them individually. I never do that. I, at the most, I put four bamboo canes on the corner of the bed and then wire okay. or string across. But yeah. only later in the state. And, okay. You know, sometimes they don't need it at all. Don't, don't spoil them too much. Oh, they're fantastic, definitely, yeah, yeah, they're growing very well. L lovely, strong plants, you know. Sometimes uh, they get weak and leggy and then they, they're likely to keel over. If you stake them and support them too early, you spoil them, you make them weak they're and, and then they get a bit uh, lazy that way. <laughs> so keep them growing on their own as long as you can and if, of course if they fall over. But then very simply, four bamboo canes or, or two by two inch posts yeah. in the corners with wire or string, string yeah. across. You can see the flowers there on the early but they'll be full of new beans. Each flower is going to make a broad bean. A couple of weeks now they should, yeah. should be there. Um, is there anything we should be looking out for at this time of year? Yeah, definitely. There's two problems. Disease, chocolate spot. Okay. And the main pest would be blackfly. Right, yeah. Now, blackfly would be on, this, uh, on the tips usually. Mm -hmm. Black aphids, thousands okay. of them. Chocolate spot would be chocolate-colored uh, spots on the leaf. They won't kill the plant, mm. but they will affect the whole crop. You know, okay. every single leaf would have chocolate spot spots on it. Sure, okay. And it reduces the yield and okay. some stuff. So that's why it's important to sow them early in the year. Okay. Because they've grown already before they get the problems. Okay. So w with black fly, is there anything we can do about that? There's a few things you could try and do. The one is to remove the tips okay. as soon as you notice that you have them. But you, you can only do it once the beans have grown so fully. That's the growing tip. Yeah. yeah. That's the first way. The other way is just to wait and see. Mm. And hopefully you have ladybirds in. And if you have lots of ladybirds, they will control them. Okay. So that's the two best best ways. And what about the chocolate spot? That's a, it's a seasonal thing you need. You There's know. nothing you can do organically, yeah. and neither should you. You know, it's, it's yeah. if, if you have them later in the year, you'll get it. Yeah. Should we be feeding our broad beans? Oh, definitely not, really. Especially if they're growing strong. There's one thing that beans don't like, and that's too much nitrogen. Right because they fix atmospheric nitrogen and if they have it themselves with the rhizobium bacteria and if they have ni nitrogen in the ground they have no need to do that and get lazy. Right, okay. We've got loads of lovely beans there. How do we, how do we know when they're ready to harvest? See, they look quite big. Yeah. But feel that they're soft in the middle. Okay. First of all, when you harvest, you hold it there yeah. and then you twist it so it comes off with the little handle attached to it. Sure, okay. This one is a bit harder, so they should be bigger, but not really. Once that part between the beans is hard, well, then you have the maximum yield. Mm. Wow, they just look amazing, don't they? Mm. If you harvest them smaller, they're like a little bit sweeter. They're really good. You know, people eat baked beans, isn't it? Heinz yeah. baked beans. That's the, they don't grow here. That will be the natural Irish solution or English solution. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>